Hey everybody, welcome to our channel Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. In this video, we're gonna take you on a tour and show you four different apartment communities within the Short Pump area. You will learn about their location, the amenities provided by the community, floor plans, pricing, and we have video footage from some of the apartments, so you will get to see what they look like on the inside. We'll start with the more affordable options and work our way up in cost as we go. Stay to the end to see two different apartment communities in Short Pump where you could actually walk everywhere you need and live vehicle free. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson. And I'm Sarah Jefferson. And we own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We have helped tons of families relocate to Richmond. And if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond relocation guide. It's full of useful information all about Richmond and the surrounding areas. The link is in the comments below and on our banner image. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel because every week we'll be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, include more neighborhood tours, more apartment tours, fun things to do in RVA, and lots more coming up. <laughs> now, with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. While we don't work the rental market, and in fact that goes for most agents in Richmond, we do get questions regarding rentals and relocation all the time. Even though we don't work the rental market, we do want to be helpful, so we do our best to answer those questions as our time allows. But clearly we saw there is a need for this type of video, and this one won't be our last video about rentals around Richmond. While we haven't lived in any of these particular communities ourselves, we can't give you that firsthand experience, but we can say that these four communities are 100% places we would live if we were looking to rent today. So we're going to start with the most affordable option in today's video with the community called Wellesley Terrace at Short Pump. While there are definitely some cheaper options within the Short Pump area, as your budget decreases, so too do the amenities, location, or how nice large the units are. So we chose this one because the price is lower than the others mentioned today, but you still get a nice apartment in a great location. Situated at the intersection of Three Chopped and Lauderdale, this is a great spot. You get a nice mix of pretty green space and still a super convenient location with a huge Kroger shopping center and public shopping center located east and west of the complex. And you can walk to either one of them. And the Short Pump Mall is also just across Broad Street. This community has the standard amenities available to its residents. There's a clubhouse with a pool and there are two tennis courts. There is a small fitness center, but it's pretty much like every hotel gym you've ever seen. What is nice though, is that there's a lake with two miles of walking trails behind the complex. They have five different floor plans available, all of which are pretty tightly packed. In other words, they're smaller, but that's where some of the cost saving comes. In the one bedroom unit, they're either 588 or 642 square feet. The two bedroom units are 850 square feet or 924 square feet. And the three bedroom unit is 1164 square feet in size. We got to tour the larger of the two bedroom units and we really liked it. It had a wood burning fireplace, which is pretty cool. We also like that both of the bedrooms each get their own ensuite, so you don't have that awkward run through the living room or hall after a shower. <laughs> Pricing is around $12.50 a month for the one bedrooms, $15.50 ish for the two bedrooms, and $16.50 for the three bedrooms. Lease terms are available anywhere from six months to 14 months long. These are the most affordable options, but it comes at the expense of size as these are some of the smaller units toured today too. Parking is available throughout the community and each resident can have up to two parking passes. Up next is the crossings at Short Pump. This community is located in the intersection of Cox Road and Three Chop Road. Overall, this location is very nice. While all of these apartment buildings are located within Short Pump, some of the locations are better than others. And being incredibly nitpicky, I would say that is the downside to this community. Some of these other communities have easier highway access or closer stores and entertainment. So if I was basing my decision alone on nearby amenities, I probably wouldn't pick the crossings. Now, that being said, we have had clients who rented here while home shopping after their move from Colorado. They had a nice experience with this community, so we do feel comfortable telling you it's a good place to live. And I am splitting hairs when saying this location isn't the best because you're still very close to all that Shore Pump has to offer. You just can't walk to a lot of it. Within the community itself, there's a fitness center, two playgrounds, a pool, a clubhouse, a sand volleyball court, and a business center. There are only three different floor plans offered here, a 704 square foot one bedroom, one bath apartment, a 1,060 square foot two bedroom, two bath apartment, and a 1,300 square foot three bedroom, two bath apartment. Let's first take a look at the one bedroom floor plan. It's a decent layout and we really like that it has eating space in the corner for a table and chairs. The door to the patio slash balcony in the middle of the living room does limit how you lay out your furniture, but overall we think this is a nice floor plan. 
and this is one of the more affordable one-bedroom options. Pricing for the one-bedroom unit starts at $1,340 per month. Pricing for the two-bedroom unit starts at $1,635 per month. And for the three-bedroom unit, expect to pay $1,915 and up. Now let's take a peek at the two-bedroom unit. One of the first things you'll notice in this apartment is the wood-burning fireplace, which many of these units have. So if you want to cozy up to a real fire, it's possible to do that here too. We also like the separation between the two bedrooms being on opposite ends of the living room. Lease terms offered here are between 6 months and 14 months long. There's plenty of parking and they don't limit the number of vehicles you can have. Another really nice thing is that they offer detached garages for only $75 a month. They're 10 feet by 20 feet and if you're okay with parking your car outside, then they could serve you as a storage unit instead. The Madison Apartments are next, and this place is gigantic, sprawling out on over 26 acres of incredibly valuable land in Short Pump. They are located just south of Broad Street beside Pump Road and north of Three Chopped Road, and this location is awesome. You can walk to multiple different restaurants, a Starbucks, Panera Bread, and there's also a large public shopping center that is within walking distance too, and one of our favorite bars in the Short Pump area, The Poor House. On top of that, you are 15 seconds to the Short Pump Mall and Movie Theater. While I would consider all of these apartments in Short Pump safe, the Madison has gated parking, which I think makes it just a notch above. The amenities within the community include two pools, tennis courts, a lighted dog park, a business center, and a fitness center that is undergoing renovations, so we weren't able to get any footage of it. The Madison Apartments offer seven different floor plans with three one-bedroom options ranging in size from 697 to 816 square feet. Three two-bedroom options ranging in size from 1026 to 1159 square feet, and only one three-bedroom floor plan with 1252 square feet. We got a chance to tour the two-bedroom model, and it was really nice. Probably our favorite thing about it was the extra workspace off of the living room. We definitely think that that's a nice touch, and if you work from home like so many do now, I think you'll definitely appreciate that as well. The one-bedroom unit pricing starts around $1,500 a month. The two-bedroom units start around $1,850 and the three-bedroom unit costs $20.25 a month or more depending on which floor it's on. As mentioned, parking is gated and it's on a first-come, first-served basis. They also offer garages that have covered access into the building for $125 a month, which again could make a great storage unit if you need one. So our last community has been one of our go-to recommendations whenever we speak with someone looking for a rental in the Short Pump area. Although it technically has a Glen Allen address, the flats at West Broad Village are located right off of West Broad Street beside the entrance and exit for Short Pump off of Highway 64. This location is amazing because everything that Short Pump has to offer is right at your fingertips, with a Target, a Home Depot, and Walmart all super close by, and the mall is only three stoplights away too. What we really love about this community are all the amenities available within West Broad Village. If you happen to work from home, this is a spot where you can ditch your car because you won't be needing it. Located within West Broad Village is pretty much everything you need for daily living, including two really nice grocery stores, a Whole Foods, and a Trader Joe's. There's ACAC, which is the gym that Sarah and I go to, and we love it. And you have a ton of entertainment options within the community, too, with bars, restaurants, Dave & Buster's, and lots more. There's a little lake and walking trails around it, and a playground for the kids. The Short Pump Park, which has a dog park and playground equipment, is just west across the street, and you can walk to that, too. So again, this location is great, and that's definitely what you're paying for here. As a tenant of the flats, you'll get access to the same amenities that the owners of townhomes in West Broad Village receive, including access to the pool and clubhouse. Within the apartment complex itself, you have an Uber lounge, there's an event space, a game nook, workspaces, and a really nice gym, especially for apartment complex standards. It's honestly one of the nicest apartment gyms I've ever seen. The flats at West Broad Village offer one to three bedroom floor plans, but we were told that the three bedroom units have been rented consistently for years on end and the turnover is pretty much non-existent. So don't expect to find a three bedroom unit here. There are over 20 different floor plans offered just between the one and two bedroom options. The one bedroom unit varies in size from 830 square feet up to 1,000 square feet and the two bedroom units range in size from about 1,100 square feet to 1,500. All we were able to tour at the time of making this video is the one bedroom unit. So let's have a look at that. We really like the open concept layout and how nice and clean these units are. Pricing starts around $1,500 per month for the cheapest one bedroom unit, but expect to see most of them higher than that and closer to the $1,800 per month range. The two bedroom units start around $1,850 per month and move up in price from there depending on the floor plan that's available to you. Something to keep in mind is you might not be able to be picky. When we went there, they were 100% leased with the next available units coming up further than 60 days out. They offer six, nine, 12, and 15 month lease options. 
Parking's available throughout the community, and there are some floors on the parking decks dedicated exclusively for the tenants at the flats. Now, there are more than a dozen apartment complexes with thin short pumps, so if you didn't see something that you liked or that fits your budget, don't worry. There are other options out there. I like Apartments.com as a research for searching for apartment rentals, so if you're in the market to look for one, definitely go to that website. If you like this video, hit that like button and leave us a comment. Definitely subscribe to our channel because in the future we'll be doing more apartment tours just like this one in other areas around Richmond. And if you're thinking about moving to Richmond, be sure to hit us up. We can help make your move stress-free and easy. We appreciate you being here with us today and we'll see you next time. Bye.